So this is Dan York, and I'm here today with Rod Ullens, who is the co-founder and CEO of Voxbone, and is the person behind a new launch today of something called iNum. So, uh, Rod, welcome to our show. Thanks. So, so what are you announcing today? iNum, what is it all about? Well, iNum, it's, um, in a nutshell, it's a new kind of phone number. Uh, it's a number that's global, so not linked to any country, not linked to any city. It's really a number that, that enables you to, to be reachable from pretty much anywhere in the world. Um, and the goal there is to, to create a number where you would eventually be reachable for the cost of a local call or even for free from the whole world. Um, and a number that you can keep with you wherever you go. Let's say, for example, today you live in the US, tomorrow you move to France or you go to uh, you know, wherever in Asia, you could keep your number with you instead of having to change your number because of the fact that you go to another country, you can just keep your number and uh, go to your new country. So, how did this come about? I mean, this is a, it's a country code, right? Assigned by the ITU, how did that work? Yes, so uh, when we went to the ITU and we said, okay, we want to launch this new service, uh, there was not really a country code that already existed where we could use, where we could make such an application or such a service. And so um, it took about two years to create uh, this new country code, which is 883. And, um, and then shortly, uh, actually last month, this whole ruling around the 883 country code was finalized. And we got an official allocation from the ITU um, to use these numbers. So now the, the vision is one phone number that's globally accessible. You're launching today which is uh, November 11th. So who's supporting it now? How does it work today? So today, since it's only like a month ago, since we really started uh, the implementation into uh, the major network, we have a few partnerships already started where the number is already, already reachable. Um, you can, for example, reach it from Gizmo for free. You can reach it from Truephone for free. You can reach it you know, from providers like that for free. Um, about 10, 10 providers, they're all on the website, uh, inom.net. And then we have companies like Voxeo or Rebit that enable developers to create applications using um, inom numbers. And, um, and that then when they create applications, they get allocated such a number um, to enable their application. Right, yeah, in our case we've done it so that any new applications people create get an inom associated with it automatically. And for existing apps, developers can simply go in and add an iNum to it as they would add a DID or anything else. So yeah. it's pretty neat. We've been using it from, uh, I've been testing it myself from Gizmo and being able to call uh, from those numbers. So, uh, so what's next? I mean, now that the system's launched, it's out there. What's kind of the next steps for the connectivity? The, the first step right now is really to add much more partners to the list. Uh, we are in talks with pretty much every major IM, voice over IP network out there. So that's the first, the first strategy is to grow the community where there is free calling uh, between the different uh, members. And then in parallel of that, we are starting to work in implementing the number ranges into uh, PSTN networks, where there it will mostly not be for free, but for cheap, you know, the, the reachability to the INAM numbers. Um, this is the two, really two main directions that we are taking today. So growing the free calling community and also in parallel making it reachable from a growing numbers of real PSTN countries. Uh, and then the third step we are taking is adding more features because today these numbers support just voice calling. But of course the goal is to make this a real multimedia phone number where you can have much more than just voice. So that's coming up also in the future months. Great. So, and people can learn more about uh, INUM? On INUM.net, www.inum.net. Cool. And um, if people want their own INUM, or how do they, how do they get that? What, what happens? Today, we have not built... So, Foxbone is not directly allocating INUM numbers to individuals. Um, we are still a wholesale company, so we provide blocks of numbers to companies well, like Voxeo, sure. and so on. So if an individual or a business customer wants to get an INOM, he needs to go to such a partner. And we are building the list of uh, companies that allocate numbers and that will also be added to the website. Great. Now, you've made some comments too that this makes geography irrelevant. or yeah. you know, So what do you mean by that? Well, 
we, we really think that today um, actually the, the geographical um, geographical links between number uh, the, the link between uh, numbers and geography don't really make sense anymore because first of all the businesses when you start a business it's more and more a global business from day one it's um, it's also because people just move around all the time so we think it doesn't really make sense anymore to have numbers that are just tied to a location to a physical location or less and less uh, sense and so um, here if you have a number that's just global not identified by a city or a country, we think well, the geography just doesn't exist anymore for this number. Cool. Well, it's a, certainly a neat uh, idea as people go and build things that allow this kind of larger interconnect. So um, thanks for your time, Rod. Thank you. And uh, Voxeo users can go to evolution.voxeo.com and when you create your applications there, you can get an INM assigned to it that you can then call into it. So. Thanks again. This is Dan York. I've been talking to Rod Ullens, who is the co-founder and CEO of Voxbone. Thank you.